You know that iconic phrase from Anchorman that goes, boy, that escalated quickly? There couldn't be a more perfect line to sum up this compilation of police body camera clips involving traffic stops taking place in the United States of America. A seemingly inconspicuous encounter with numerous suspects goes from 0 to 100 really fast. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! You better leave me! Put your hands behind your Leave back. Leave me alone! Put your hands behind your back! No! Now! In Arkansas, on September 7, 2022, a vehicle was pulled over due to passing on the shoulder. In the vehicle was the driver, Eric Winfort, and the passenger, Brittany Johns. According to Winfort, he was taking Johns to the hospital. Trooper Robert State Police, I stopped you for passing on the shoulder, my man. You got your driver's license? Go ahead, step out for me. Right, car. Any weapons on you? No, Nothing sir. in the car? No, sir. Alright, so so what's the deal? She woozy. Why didn't you take her to the hospital back here? Because I had got off right here on my way here. She started saying she was the fella good, so I got off, otherwise I would have never got on this show. Alright, you got an ID on you? Oh yes sir. Alright, give me your ID. Well traffic backed up because of a crash up here, okay? Because right. I was gonna turn around right here and go back to the hospital. Mr. Right. Winford, your car? Uh, it's a friend of mine. A friend of yours car? Okay. Let me ask you a question. You smoke marijuana? Uh, and be honest with me because I can smell it on you. Yes, before I got in the car, I did, but there's okay. no marijuana in the car. You can. There's marijuana in the car? No, not there's, there's none. You can, but you do the paper, stick your tongue out. Okay. So you, where y'all coming from right now? I was coming from the hotel. From the hotel? Yes, sir. Do you smoke back at the hotel? Yes, sir. Okay. Give me a paper stand right there. Right. She, who is she? Ma'am, you got an ID on you? No ID? How do you know him? Fred? Any marijuana in the car that you know of? No? Okay. Hey, before I before I go back here, nothing nothing illegal on you. Oh no. Put you, let me check and make sure you got nothing illegal on you. Alright, be back with you just a second. D4D26. Hey, 1019 over here to the one southbound. Of course, he run a uh, 1030 for me out of Illinois, please. 302 William, 5162-0379-302 William, Illinois, it's an ID card. 10-4, 1052, ID card is valid. 10-4, is he sure to have a DL anyway? Never mind. 18 what time is Gordon, Port City? 9 a.m. You got to 9 a.m. He, he's, he said he smoked right before they left the hotel room, and he's, uh, I asked where they was coming from. He said the hotel. Can't get nothing back on his license. What's it for? I'll go ahead. I'm not showing another driver's license in another state or anything. 10 4 so he just has an ID. 10 4 Thank you. The odor of a controlled substance is detected by the officer here. While the pair are not under arrest, they are read their rights in advance. Could there be something hidden inside the vehicle? After running the license back to the station, the trooper speaks to the driver and detains him for further inspection. All right, Mr. Winford, uh, before I go in your car or anything else, I'm going to tell you your rights, okay? You're not under arrest right now, but you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one may be appointed you by the courts. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop answering questions at any time. Until you talk to an attorney or have an attorney present with you for further questions. Do you understand those rights? Okay, the reason I'm gonna go in your car is because I can smell the odor of marijuana, not only on you but also in the car when I went back up there. Uh -huh. That could be because it's on you. Yeah, it's, right. it's a lot. It's, it's loud, um, and I can smell it. Uh -huh. It's very strong. Okay. Is there anything illegal in the car that I need to know about? No, sir. Nothing at all. Uh, is there any guns in the car? No, I don't. And it's not that you can't have a gun. I just want to know before I go sticking my hands around anywhere, no. I don't have no, a gun sir. go off in it, okay? No, sir. What about on her? Anything illegal you know about her? Not that I know of. But it's just your friend or girlfriend yeah, or a friend of mine. just a friend of yours? Okay. Uh, how do you know? Was she from here? Uh, yeah. You from here too? Yeah. I stay here now. Okay. So you don't have a driver's license? No, sir. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to walk right up and stand right at the very corner of your, of your car. That way, if anything happens behind us, you don't get hit, okay? All right. Yeah. Right up here on the front corner for me. Oh, okay. All right, ma'am, what I'm gonna ask you to do, go ahead and jump off your telephone because I'm gonna talk to you for just a second. Step out for me. Step right back here. Alright, listen to me. I'm gonna go ahead and place your purse up here. I'm gonna tell you your rights, okay? You're not under arrest right now, but I want you to know your rights before I ask you any further questions, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one may be appointed to you by the courts. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop answering questions at any time until you talk to an attorney or have an attorney present for further questions. Do you understand those rights? Okay. Anything illegal in your purse, anything illegal in the car that belongs to you. Anything illegal on you, do I need to have a female officer come out here and check you? No, nothing illegal on you. No, nothing illegal in your purse. Because I'm going to search it, okay? Okay. So the reason I'm going to search the car is because I can smell the strong odor of marijuana coming out of the car. Also on him. You smoke weed? Okay. So I don't have anything against smoking weed. I just don't, you can't have it unless you have a medical card. Do you have a medical card? You don't? Okay. Does he that you know of? You don't know. Okay. How long have you known him? I'm gonna let you stand right here while I look through your purse, okay? Where y'all from? You from Memphis, West Memphis or Memphis? I'm from Missouri. You're from Missouri, okay. Whose car is it? You don't know? Who is Kelvin Kraft? My brother. Your brother? I'll give you his number. What are those scales for? For weed. For weed? Make sure you get what you pay for? I don't blame you. There's no fentanyl in your purse, is it? Fentanyl? No, sir. No fentanyl in my system. You would be surprised at the people that I ask about fentanyl and they go, yeah, I got a little bit. You do heroin? No, sir. You do meth? No, sir. I do cocaine occasionally. Cocaine? Occasionally. Occasionally? Is that what the spoon's for? You snort it or you no. shoot it? No, neither one I smoke. You smoke it? When I do it. Crack? Okay. Well, I was just wondering what the spoon was for and I could see the, the powder residue you on it. It says that you'll see milk on that. Okay. Okay. All right. Not a big deal then. All right, so here's what I'm having. Inside of my purse. Okay, here's what I'm having you do. I'm going to have you walk up and stand with him, okay? Trooper Robert recognizes that the driver is under the influence, while Johns admits that she's a drug user and has drug paraphernalia in her purse. Nevertheless, the cop is approached by a second officer who arrives on the scene. See if you can count the number of seconds before all hell breaks loose. Who do you think's gonna turn everything on its head? Hey, yeah, go ahead and hook him up. Get him back to your car and talk to him. He he come by me about 45 mile an hour on his shoulder. And I get him out, I walk up and I smell older marijuana. I get him out and start talking to him. He says, yeah, I smoked at the hotel back here. He's going, they were going, I don't know where they were going. And then as they get up here, he's passing on the shoulder. He says, she she says she don't feel good, so he's taking her to the hospital. He's going to go down here and turn around and go back to the hospital. No. He's high as a kite. She's got paraphernalia in her purse, and we're probably fixing to look for some crack cocaine because she says she smokes crack when she does it. But there's uh, scales. Oh, she she's looking when you're. Oh digging. yeah. Wherever you were digging. Yeah. She was looking I'm fixing to find it. I'm, I prob we're probably gonna call it. Uh, see if we can get a female officer. She uh yeah, West Memphis should have one. Okay. Uh, I guess I can. I'm Miranda. Him. Yeah, just get him back here and talk to him. And uh, he's gonna he's under the influence. You can look at his eyes and tell him he's just man. He's like. Driving like crap. Yeah. Uh, the possibility that my brother's gun might be in this car, just so you know. And if it is, it's in this room. I just want to let you know. Okay. Stay up here on the corner for me. And my sister might have something in there as well. Hey! Hey! Stop! <laughs> Yep, it was Johns who decided to bolt off in the vehicle. Considering that the traffic jam here has been caused by an accident, speeding down the track is dangerous enough, as it could mean another accident is about to happen. It's even more likely if she's under the influence, too. 
female jumped in the car on me and took off. We're uh, almost to the bridge. Fortunately, she stopped in traffic. She may have wrecked. She did. She wrecked out, Far City. It's normally 10 16. Far City, get me uh, West Memphis Fire. We got a truck. She hits leaking diesel. She's in the car. Uh, I don't know. Far City, get his ambulance here quick. Need me help with anything? Man, just, uh, have you got a fire extinguisher? Uh, hey. No, not yet. Who, uh, is he in the car with you? He's in there. Okay. You want me to back up in case it gets on fire? No, I just don't know. Forest City advised him she's in bad shape. Hey, ma'am, stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Yeah. Yeah. Lay your head on that. Lay your head on that. Don't move. I thought yeah, she ran over me. Why did she? Uh, I know she come walking by like. I mean, we know why she's done it, but for what? Were y'all chasing her? Yeah, no. We we're on a traffic stop with her. Hey, hey, hey! Stay, stay still. Stay still. You got fire department? Yes. Hey, you want to get fire department? Is 1019, correct? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, careful. Of course, we got the interstate shut down. Hey, 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 stay, hey, listen, listen, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen, stay, stay listen, you're gonna hurt yourself. stay still. Yeah, 10 full. Should we try to get her out? She ain't gonna be no, still. No, no. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. Stay still. Dude, she's got, she's gonna have a bad head injury. I know, she, hey, stay still. Here, stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. I don't know. It, it, I'm surprised it didn't stop. She's going to come on out. Ma'am, stay still. The vehicle is quite literally split in half from a collision with a truck. It's a miracle that John's is still alive, as she was found with her legs in the front passenger seat. Meanwhile, her head was on the ground near the seats in the back of the car. I don't know. It, it, I'm surprised it didn't stop. She's going to come on out. Ma'am, stay still. Ma'am, stay still. Please. Please, stay still. Stay still. Listen. You're going to cut yourself. Listen. Listen, stop. Stop. No, that's her head injury. She was, just, she was on the side of the road just talking to me. Hey, stay. Stay. Stay right stay, there. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. You got her. I'm going to go see if your other guy got gloves. Please help. Listen. Listen. No, ma'am. Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Listen, you're going to hurt yourself even worse than you already are. Sit still. Sit still. Go ahead, too. I'm trying to control this female. She's she's trying to climb out of the car. She's going to have a severe head injury. Well, she wrecked on her own. She hit a truck trying to uh, run up the shoulder. Go! Go! Hey, try not to hit this metal. Listen, this metal's listen. gonna cut you. Just hold still till the ambulance gets here. She got a bad burn on her arm. For yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, no, leave, leave it. Leave. I don't want. I don't want to give her a lead to get out. Okay. Can they not block this off and get an ambulance to come through this? Is that you? Yeah, that's okay. Bad. Okay. I told him to just hold up until we gotta get medical here. Hey, just stay still. Stay four, still. Four, four, I know, I know, you're hurt. You're hurt really bad. You know. Just chill out, you're hurt. You gotta wait. Wait for the ambulance to get here. Make sure you ain't hurt no worse. Just hold still, okay? Hey, uh, let's see if I can reach in and cut that key off. See that got power on one side of night. Hey, what's he hauling? He's right there. Hey, hey, don't move, don't move. That thing's hot. And don't move. Me. Listen to me, don't. Watch me. Don't move. Don't move. The thing is hot, sir. Okay. Okay. Look, I, I moved it where you you won't touch it anymore. Okay. Crashing into a truck is one thing, but colliding with a hazmat truck with hazardous waste and a leakage of diesel on the road is even worse. 
thankfully, one of the drivers has been really helpful with making sure that Johns is not trying to escape from the wreckage, as any further attempts could seriously worsen her injuries even further. D4 to uh, D41. Ten four. Uh, when you get on 55 and start coming toward us, you'll have to get on the shoulder, but come up to around the one. You're just before the the one exit on the right-hand shoulder of the road where there's going to be several bags by in there. Please stop and with those bags, there's going to be evidence in there. Um, there's one reason she was running. Ten four. That male still out or is he still going? No, he's 10, he's uh, 10, 15. Yep. City, D4. If you can, can I get Sir. that UNN number off the head of that? Far City, there's, hang on just a second. Hey, come over here and just make sure she doesn't try to get out. Hey. Thank you. Far City, the driver said it's going to be hazardous waste. I don't believe it has the number on it. It's just got a dangerous uh, placards on it. I don't know if it's got a... I don't see a number on it. It's a crystal clean cleaning supply truck. Uh, and he says it's got hazardous waste on it. I'm not... Hey, hey, hey. Man, why would you do that? I'm going to have to have your phone now. You know, it's evidence, right? Can you race, race the picture? No, sir. I can just leave it. I'll delete it. I'll make up a mind later if I'm going to give it back to you. 41, that stuff's going to be right before the uh, bridge board exit. The fire department didn't run out over. I think most of it went in the grass, but... After she's taken out of the vehicle, she says some truly bizarre and unbelievable things that you really have to hear for yourself. What? Can I call my girlfriend to get no, the car? No, you cannot act... You, can you call your girlfriend to what? To get the, the car. The car? Ma'am, your, your car's in two pieces. You don't even have back tires on it. The back tires are stuck under that truck right there. Why? Because you hit it. You were in a really bad accident. I wasn't driving. <laughs> You're the only person in the car. Just hang out. Where's Eric? He's not in the car. See so up. In. No. No. We, we get this moved out of the way. We can get her out. Can but you call him, please? She's, she's going to have a... She's bleeding out of her left ear pretty bad. No, you're fine. And, uh... It's just my underneath. Listen to me. Please, sir. The police ain't gonna let him at this point. Sir, will you please let him walk to me? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I want you to stay still, okay? We need to try not to move no more impossible because you can have some severe injuries. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm telling you I'm not. She actually tries to say that she was not driving the vehicle and even asks the police officer if her girlfriend can collect the car. It's a safe guess to say that she may very well be under the influence or is just completely shaken up from the turn of events that's happened if she honestly believes that she did not cause the crash and that someone can collect the car without having to pick up the literal pieces. Is, is he okay? Who? Eric. Yes. Can I see him? No. Sir. Sir. May I please see him? No, you cannot. Is he okay? He, he's fine. So why can't I see him? Because right now you're under arrest, okay? For what? For, for felony fleeing, for one. I didn't flee. For, I listen to... to me. For battery on a police officer number two. What did I do? You drug me down the road about 30 feet. I didn't see you, sir. You didn't see me when you jumped in the car? You said my sister may have something in there and you jumped in the car and took off with me trying to keep your get your keys? No, sir. I'm okay. Sorry. Can I talk to my boyfriend, please? Sir. 
sir. What? Can I talk to my boyfriend? No. Let, hey, he wants to wait. I'm gonna wait till EMS gets here because when, when that comes open, she's gonna try to run. No, I won't. No, I won't, sir. No, I won't. Here, here. That's the reason she's where she's at. Right here. I won't run. Okay, you keep both hands right there. Well, the EMS is right there. Hey, watch your head. Watch your oh, head. I'm sorry. Watch your head. I got it. Come on, man. Come on. Oh. Give me your hand. Come on, you got it. All right. All right, now, now lay down. Lay down right here. Sit down. Sit down right there. Lay down right here. There we go. Because you've got a bad head injury, okay? Sit down. Sit down on and your I butt. I don't want you to get hurt any worse than you are. Sit down on your butt. Put your feet out in front of you. I don't have no head injury. You, you got blood coming out of your head. You do. You hit your head. Where? I don't know where you hit. No, I do not. You guys are lying. Just hold still. I don't have anything on my head. Okay. Well, if you didn't, you're lucky. You were laid in the back seat of the car. Bad. So oh, Where did you? Are you hurting anywhere? No, sir. Is this the only place? No, she got a severe burn on that arm. Oh, no. Oh, I see that. I know. According to Johns, she does not believe that she has a head injury. It's mind-boggling how she honestly believes this. She even claims that she didn't even see the trooper that she was dragging away when she was trying to get away, despite the fact that he was hanging onto the vehicle trying to pull the key out of the ignition. While emergency medical services are taking the suspect in an ambulance, Winford, who's still sitting in the back of a police car watching the scene unfold, seems to hold his partner in high praises, despite her attempts to abandon him by hijacking the car that he was initially driving. Oh my god, here she go on the street. Uh, Chris, I mean, if he has got trampled his female to the mayor. She's bleeding out the mouth, mama. Oh, she over. What? She bleeding out her mouth. Oh, well. I, Ma, I really do love her, though. Like, I love her. Like... She loves her really. She loves her very much like gal. Like, she... Very much gal. She, like, out of any woman I've ever been with, regardless of what she do, Ma, she treated me... She treated me right. Even though that happened that night, she ain't never treated me wrong. She treated me like I'm a king, Ma. Go ahead, at least black bag. Got this for Start looking around there. There's quite a bit of stuff. I'm not sure what all is going to be in them. Uh, possibly crack cocaine, but. And she got blood. So she got blood. Coming. She had blood coming out of her ears. This ear right here. I don't know if it's that ear or if it's her face or what. Uh, must have pulled her. Yeah, that's where it's bleeding. Hey, what's your name? Brittany. Brittany what? Johns. Brittany. Johns. Johns, J-O-H-N-S? Yes, sir. What's your date of birth? 1589. 6-15 of 89? Yes, sir. 4 City, 6-15 of 1989. 6-15 of 1989. Brittany Johns. Brittany Johns. J-O-H-N-S. Where are you from? She's from She's Missouri. From Missouri. See if you can find something here for her. And the police also discovered that Johns had an active warrant out of Illinois with full extradition. No doubt, she was taken there for punishment. As for Winford, he was booked in the Crittenden County Detention Center for traffic violations and faced additional charges for the possession of a firearm, as it was discovered that a 22 revolver was within the vehicle. It would be a bit of an understatement to say that things got awfully crazy in that clip. Did you expect the vehicle to split in half? We sure didn't. This next video contains some unexpected twists too, and once you watch it, you'll never look at an elderly woman the same way ever again. Even elderly ladies give the police a bit of trouble from time to time. Take this clip from Kashin, Oklahoma, for example. On July 17, 2019, 65-year-old Deborah Hamill was pulled over for having a broken taillight. It sounds like a simple enough reason to pull someone over, though Hamill certainly does not agree. Hello. Hi. So what's going on with your truck? It's been hit, and we're waiting to see if I can't find a bed for it. A short bed. It's drivable. Yeah, but it's not legal because you got a busted tail light. You got your driver license insurance on you? I've driven it up here ever since it's been like this. How long 
long ago has it been like that? Uh, probably about six months. Oh, okay. Well, you've had plenty of time to get it fixed. I've driven it up here a lot. Okay. Well, I drive Kingfisher, I drive it to death, and you guys stay off the interstate. You live here in town? No, my name's Hamel. I live out on Highway 74. Hamel, huh? Yeah, Hamel, huh? Gotcha. Related to Hank? I'm his mother. Oh, okay. Insurance. Yeah. Let me see if you see if I own the vehicle or the company's on. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah, busted tail light seems to be a pattern with the Hamels. Well, y'all had a headlight out on one of your pop cars the other night. We did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just don't feel you. We should have. Yeah, I guess so. All right, sit tight for me. I haven't decided yet. After revealing how long she's been driving around with a broken taillight on her pickup truck, no less than six months, the officer offers a fair penalty, an $80 ticket. After all, she had half a year to get it repaired. You won't believe what happens next, though. All right, Miss Hamill, since you informed me that you've had that for six months. Oh, yeah, and we're just looking for a bed because we can't find a short bed. I mean, my brother's you, looking for it. Can you at least get the light? I don't know if I can get the light. Uh, they've got lights on them, don't they? They do have lights in them, and they do work. Well, you're, it's broken. Yeah, I know it's so broken. So if you hit your brake lights, that white I, bulb's going to blind somebody at night. Oh, okay. Well, that's, can I put that's, red tape on it? Will that work? Yeah, but I don't think... I don't think red tape's going to help you there. You don't have a, enough plastic to tape over. Well, you know, I kind of hate to buy one if I'm going to get the whole bed and it's going to have everything on it. I got you. You know, I just don't want to spend the money. I understand. And, you know, I don't drive it to Texas. I don't drive it in the city. I go to Guthrie, Kingfisher. I'm going right now to check on cattle. Okay. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's $80. Uh, you have till September what? 16th to take care of this. Uh, get you to sign over the excess. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. But you, you've seen me in here. You've seen me in no, town. No, I, I haven't. You had to have been up here. Nope. Either way, I'm issuing you a citation. Sign there, please. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want to do. Go ahead and step out of the car. Why? Because you're, you're under arrest. Step no, out. Not. Step out of the vehicle. No, I'm not. Step out. Step out. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under arrest. Step you out. You are full of because you're not placing me under no damn arrest. Step out. No, I'm not. 305, no, 303. Do not, do not oh, take shut off. shut up and give me that and I'll sign it. Step out. No. no we're beyond that. Do you want me Step to... out. <laughs> 305, dispatch. Got one taken off. Even with an otherwise fair punishment being handed down to her, Hamill remains non-compliant, insisting that she should just be given a warning for being truthful. After refusing to sign the ticket, she's placed under arrest, though her saying that she's not is obviously not making the situation magically fix itself like she's probably hoping. Seriously, do people honestly think that they're pulling out an Uno reverse card here by saying that they're not under arrest? Regardless, she is driven off and this police officer is in hot pursuit. After pulling into an oil facility parking lot, the cop immediately pulls over and initiates an arrest, though she's not so keen on giving up just yet. Deputy's occupant is going to be one. We're going to be pulling into the DEP oil facility. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! 
Get out of the car. 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 You better leave me. Put your hands behind your back. Leave me alone. Put your hands behind your back. No. Now. Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Lay down and put your hands behind your back! Now! No, you will not! You're going to get it again! Uh, dispatch. Go ahead and start EMS. Uh, taser deployed. One female custody. Clear. Why didn't you just sign a damn ticket? Do you realize you just got yourself in a whole lot more trouble? For running? Oh, I didn't run. I told you you weren't going to arrest me. I pulled in here thinking that you would not. Here, go ahead, go ahead and roll to your, roll to your back. All right, sit on your butt. I'm trying. Are you hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt. What hurts? Everything. All right, I got EMS on the way. Just hang tight. You got a what on the way? I got an ambulance on the way. Check you out. Ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. Well, you got taste, so they got to check you out. Well, can you just stand me up? Yeah. Oh, I'm hip. Like, oh, don't do the arm that way. Well, how do you want me to hold you up? Man? I don't know. Can you, you give me a front? How about you just lean up against my leg, all right? Lean up against your leg. Yeah. Wait for them to get here. And wait for them to get here. Can you pick me up? Yeah, if you don't mind, help me get her up. There we go. Come on over here. Yeah, 10 4, she's in custody. How long did this truck been around here like that? Sir, you guys go stand over there. After being pulled out of her vehicle, Hamill remains defiant and uncooperative and even tries to kick the officer. A taser is deployed and she is handcuffed and finally arrested. Thankfully, some helpful locals managed to get her on her feet and one even hugged her. While they wait for emergency services to arrive and treat her, she's eventually put in the back of a police car. All you do is sign a ticket. 305, would you like to Don't you realize? Listen to me. Stop, hold on. 305, can you 109 that? You realize something. Nobody wants Would you like any deputies to still continue that way? Uh, negative. Deputies can 1022. Probably going to need EMS out here to check her out. Uh, if you can go ahead and get a hold of GNS wrecking. EMS has been advised. All right. Walk to my car, ma'am. Can I shut my pickup I'll, off? I'll, and... I'll turn it off for you. Come on. That's that's the taser core. They're gonna get that out of you. All right. Get it out of me. Yeah, there's two prongs in you. Two prongs in me. Oh, cute. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll turn the air on. Let you cool well, down. Can you pull your seat up or something? Or that's that's as much as we got. So why didn't you take off? Because I knew that you would arrest me. I and wasn't I, going to. All you had yes, to do was you, sign a ticket. But can you well, just listen to me a minute? Do you know that nobody, nobody wants to come to cash in for any reason whatsoever? Because they know it's going to be an eighty dollar fine for some dumb something all the time. Well. 
When you're driving around like that, where do you think you can go driving around and get away with like that? Guthrie, Kingfisher, because I'm going through Kingfisher right now to go to Loyal. You may not listen. And I've bought groceries. You I... may not like the laws, but we're here to enforce them. Whether that be in Cash in Oklahoma County or wherever, okay? You guys are going to learn the hard way that we're not putting up with it. Who's you guys? Just the you're just, the you're, you're saying the Hamels. The you citizens. Guys. The citizens of cash. All right. Of you break the law in cash, and we're going to enforce it. Yeah. Whether you're a Hamel or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. You did this. You did not have to taser me. You wouldn't comply. You wouldn't get out. And then you tried to kick me. So Why? yes, I did. Yeah, I tried to kick you because yeah. I'm a country girl. Because no, I and didn't like And you got like tased because of it. Yes, and I didn't like being thrown on the damn ground. Well, Next time, listen to what I'm telling you to do. You're the one that escalated this. All you had to do was sign, you would have been on your way. Sign an $80 ticket that I had no business of even getting. You told me you've been driving that for six months. That's half a year. That's right. Okay. And every time that we try to find... Well, you, fire, you know, three to three oh five. Hamill faced a misdemeanor charge for resisting arrest alongside a felony charge of battery or assault and battery on a police officer. Kingfisher County documents alleged that she tried to kick him in the groin. She pleaded not guilty in court and eventually agreed to plead guilty to smaller charges. In the end, she paid a little over $1,500 in both fees and fines as a result of her actions. That's almost 20 times the price of an $80 ticket and considerably more expensive than just getting the taillight repaired. What a seriously heated turn of events. Who knew old women could do some absolutely crazy things? In this next clip, things really spiral out of control for the police when they pull over a seriously ticked off driver with a real attitude problem and a tendency to self-victimize herself, even when she's at fault. Cooperating with the police is probably the best idea when they ask a person to step out of their vehicle. The suspect in this video, however, played the victim card and made it all about herself during this traffic stop that took place at Fond du Lac, Wisconsin in May 15th, 2022. Is it your car? No, I'm, I'm right. The, the, You're riding it? Okay. All right. Do you have a driver's license in the rental agreement? The paperwork for the rental? Like who's renting the car? I got it on my phone. I ain't I'll got no yeah, that's fine. If you got it on your phone, that's fine. Where you guys got to go to? Oshkosh. Oshkosh? Okay. Oh, thank you. You got anything on your phone as far as like the rental agreement? They just like us to make sure that the actual person that renting the car. That's the rental agreement. Yeah. All right, I'll get it back. Like I said, they just want us to make sure that the driver of the vehicle is the one that's riding it. I'll be right back with you. Hello. Hey, Deputy Vista Fond County Sheriff's Office. I'm a canine deputy and I'm in the area while he's on his traffic stop. I was going to run my dog around the car. Um, just for a is there anything in the car? No. Okay. If you want to st you want to step on out real quick then? It should be noted that the officer discovered that the driver, who goes by the name of Tatanisha, had a series of past drug-related offenses. While this was happening, a second officer appeared on the scene and approached the vehicle. Tatanisha soon took the opportunity to document the traffic stop on her phone before going absolutely ballistic. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, I don't want no come out of the roadway. Ma'am, ma'am, get off the roadway. I know, so get off the highway. Come over here. Why you pull me out the car knowing I ain't got no shoes? You like got I'm a, a, a you drug watch dealer your... or something. Stop. Like, what's going on? Relax. Do you have no, shoes? No, no, this is, I need to know what's going on. Do I need to call my lawyer? What's going no, on? No, you, stop. stop. What's stop. going on? Uh uh, this is, uh uh. No, no, no. I got Stop. puppies in here. Relax. Don't touch me, bro. I need you to relax. No, you you the one scare me. You pulling Why me out my car. Why am I scaring car. you? I'm you, just I feel you to get threatened. Out. What do you mean? I feel threatened. I don't this know is what you're threat. doing. I feel threatened. All right, turn around. You are going to place the handcuffs. You, you are going to place. You're being detained. What you mean? Stop. I'm finna relax. I don't know what you are doing. You pulling me out the yes, car with no you're shoes. Being like, I offered you to give you shoes. Now relax. Hey, you, you arresting me for what? I need your name. I'm not arresting you. I am detaining you. Out of here! I don't give a about this black currency, bro! This black 
it is, bro. Because I'm in a fucking 2002. Don't touch my phone. Let go. Let go. Hey, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. What is You're your name? You're about to go to jail. What is your name? Stop. Bro. Hey, hey bud. Black as Come back here. Bro. It's black cruelty, bro. You're pulling me out of the oh. wall. God. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, baby. Come this on. Come back here. This racist is fucking. Come on, baby. This racist is fucking. Come on, baby. Don't do that. This racist is Come on. Black fucking lies, man. I see what the fuck. They doing that. Bro, bro. I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm walking on the concrete with no shoes. We're gonna get to some shoes. Oh, with CG. This is. You know this. This is straight. This is straight. Bro, this is. I'm calling y'all supervisor. I'm suing the out of y'all. I'm black driving the charger. You pulling me over? Supervisor out here? Yes, I'm suing the out of y'all. Yes, call my lawyer, bro. Call my lawyer. Oh my baby. I, this, this, this black cruelty, bro, because no, I'm driving a 2022, bro. You said you pulling me over because I'm driving over speed limit. No, I'm taking off my shoes. Over? I told you I was gonna Get the f out of the here. Car. Go here. Need to you need to calm down and relax. I ain't dead. Sh now nah, this black cruelty. That's why I got to get the f out of this white f town, man. You said you want to live up here with these f crackers, man. I'm done. I'm done. It's racist as f Let me would have been white. You want to pull me the over and say, get the f you have a God. marijuana symbol on your keychain. I f***ing smoke squares. Okay. So I got two dollars in the car. No. Okay, cool. Search that. Okay, we'll search it then. I don't even smoke in that car. Get the f*** out of here, bro. Okay. Yeah, can you please just let the puppy out, please? I'm asking you just let the puppies out in the sure. box. They're in the box. Legs. I can bring That's them out here for you. Do you want shoes? Them my, yeah, you okay. can. You can even search them, bro. I just want cool. my puppies. Them bring my them over puppies. here. And stand with her? Yeah, or I'll stand with her. She said consent. To Ironic how Tadanisha calls the police racist and immediately fires out racial slurs not long afterwards. Of course, no amount of self-victimization is going to deter these cops from doing their jobs, though it's certainly not helping here. During the search, a THC vape was found. Oh, if there's shoes in there too, get her shoes out. Hey buddy, you can come over here. You know a guy anything? Did he search you? No, he didn't search me. Is that okay? Yeah, it's up to you. I'm uh, asking him. That's fine. Get the out of here. You ain't even smell weed when you got in here, bro. That's why. I, no, we didn't. Get the we didn't search your car for you to smell weed. That's why I said I was gonna run my dog around the car. So. I don't understand. 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 I don't I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't asked no place you to get the dog, she bro. She started to freak out. Is she, could you pull right. me out? I don't trust y'all. That's fine. Is anything anything that black people getting killed? Because like, y'all shooting the oh. out of us, yeah, and we done letting like y'all do it. No, He's searching the whole car. I thought this wasn't a search. He's searching the whole car. What? He's searching the whole car. I thought this wasn't a truck. No, I said he could run his dog around. Okay. That's a dog. She's denying consent now. I said get my dog. You said get your dog. Oh. No. I said you get just my said dog. Searching. Don't read no You, said in there. I, you can do what you want. I just want my dogs, bro. They babies. Okay, if we yeah, grab your dogs, we can go. They babies. I already got THC vapes. Oh, okay. I don't got okay. nothing, bro. THC vape you found in there. That's from another in the fing way. Are you kidding? Alright. Get the fing out of here, bro. You're going to the back of the squad now. Man, you a do what you do, bro. No, let me in this. I'm suing you. Let me in this. Yeah. Bro. Let me go. Relax. I don't trust you. Let me the. Hey. Go. Can you get your hey, hand off me? Can you get your off me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. You want to see, see my too? What? You want to see my too? What the else? Where you want to see? Get your what? off me. Get off me. I don't trust y'all. I don't trust you. This. I don't trust y'all. That's nice. You talking about? Why are you searching me? I'm a female. I'm, I'm a female. You, you can't search female. me. We don't have any females. You can't search me, bro. We have to. You cannot. Search. Can you search right. me, bro? She's not searching you. you. She's not searching you. Can't, you, can't, you. Can't, you can't, can you search me? No, 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 you can't do that. He's not searching her. He's searching her. He's frisking her for weapons before he goes in the back of my squad. Stop fucking touching me. Don't fucking touch me. It's all we out of here, bro. He was found in the squad. I'm out of here. It's all we out of here. Don't touch me. Oh my granny, don't touch me. Okay. Don't touch me. Can you not touch me? Why are you You are getting me? searched. You okay, are going me, to okay, jail. Okay, do you do understand this. that? Okay, let me do this. I don't want to go to jail, bro. You're, You're already sorry. going. But why? Because you think I was uh, smoking? I don't this have nothing. I'm not resisting. I'm not, not resisting. Go, no, out of here. I'm not resisting, no, sir. So I'm not resisting. Get in there. I'm not resisting. Put your feet in. I'm, why are you doing this to me, though? What do you mean, why am I why doing you, this? I'm asking you questions because I'm, I'm scared.
back. Mr. Frederick, I'm scared. You don't understand that. No, I'm scared. I can't. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to you. You weren't trying uh, to just yell at me. Stop. Because you're not listening to me because I, I am. Lean I am, back, please. You ain't listening to me. I have a I'm problem. I'm listening to you. Listen to me. Do not Stop not, I have pulling a away from this. Problem. Okay, do you need an ambulance order? Yeah, because I'm going to go. Okay, cool. A boy's in charge is on you. Right you now, I'm going to take this lighter off your thing, okay? Why are you talking about it? Take it away from my neck because y'all are black. Gee, this is crazy. This is crazy. Y'all, who is this? For this bro. What do you need an ambulance you for so I can let him know? I need an ambulance. I felt threatened. He touched me. Sexual harassment. Okay. Call him. Okay. Now. All right. Sexual. Now you deny medical attention. Now you deny medical attention. The I'm ambulance is coming. I'm suing you. Oh my god. You are the feeble responses from the passengers could not persuade these cops to let Tadanisha go, and her screaming about not trusting the cops here did nothing for her case either. Eventually, she did calm down, and after a quick check by EMS, in the end, the irate, racist driver was taken to jail. Luckily for her, the bond she posted was paid for. She was charged and found guilty of resisting or obstructing an officer. If you want to see more traffic stops go from calm to bonkers, then keep watching as we have yet another case to share involving a seriously furious man with a suspicious item that's found in his pocket during a search of his pockets. This encounter occurred in Arkansas on November 2nd, 2020. Trooper Remington Lively spotted a green Chevrolet truck driving down State Highway 56 with expired tags. So the officer initiated a traffic stop and pulled over the driver, later identified as Brad Allen Edmonston. Don't be deceived by his frequent chuckles and happy demeanor, as his personality is about to make a sudden shift in personality soon enough. Okay. Did you? Yeah. I'm Trooper Live, Arkansas State Police. Right, I know you are. Reason I stopped you three tags. Yeah. Look at Randall Brady, he even got that injured. Okay. Where are you headed today? I'm taking her at home. Taking her home? Got your driver's license on you? I get mine tomorrow, but <laughs> Do you? you know. Good deal. Alright, yep. My black truck finally laid down on me. Did it? Yeah. Alright. Mom and Dad did. Good. Okay, where'd you say y'all was headed today? She's taking me back to where I was. Back to where you were? Okay. You got anything in the vehicle today? No. Nothing at all? Kind of search your vehicle? Sure. Alright, go ahead and hop out with me. <laughs> Down the okay. Anything on you can put me stick, man? No. Uh, I don't know. Officer safety for weapons. Can I search your pockets? You do what? You want me to empty my pockets? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in for two. <laughs> oh, my God. You might need a pole. Yeah. Something good, though. <laughs> I don't know what we're carrying. Put pitch in the back of the car. Mm -hmm. Need to make <laughs> During a consented search, a small bag containing a white substance is removed from Edmonston's pocket. Trooper Lively quickly examines it. What could it be, exactly? An illegal stimulant? A bag of flour? Well, perhaps not the last one. It should be pointed out that no police reports actually confirmed what its contents were. Nevertheless, after a quick glance of the suspicious baggie, the trooper quickly examines it and then arrests the driver. Edmonston does not respond well and immediately tries to wrestle his way out of captivity while the female passenger records the scuffle. 
Look, you don't want to tense up, okay? You want to do this no, the easy way or the hard way? Bullshit. Turn hey, around. That did not come out of my pocket, buddy. Step I promise over there. you. No. Step over there. Y'all the mom right now. Step over there. Hey, dude. I don't do look. that No, you ain't doing it. Look. Come on, man. Look, you're fixing to have a real bad day. Well, look. Okay. Just stop. All right. Up with you up. Up. Hey, hey, just so you know, he's had five lung surgeries, okay? Are you down? He's had a, a collapse lung several times. <laughs> I recorded it. Yeah? It's on video. Up. Speed on you, hop up. <laughs> you can put these steps. You have to put these steps up behind my back. You have to put the cuffs in the front. No, I don't. You okay? You'll regret that. It's I'm all right. We should talk about that. Should we start fighting cops? The doctors will have your. I wouldn't fight nobody. Why are you taking my cuffs? Stop. Walk back here. Do this bullshit. Walk back here. Let me get my stuff. Why are you doing me like this? I said walk back here. Why are you doing me like this? Why are you taking me like this? Hey, get in the car. You're under arrest. Get in the car. 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 Edmonston is now in the back of a police car and is still just as livid as before. For a man who allegedly had lung surgery and cannot breathe, he's awfully vocal about voicing his displeasure over what has occurred. Admittedly, we worded it in a rather delicate manner, but his colorful vocabulary will most certainly prove that he's not one to mince words here. Hey! Medicine! I'm gonna just throw up, stop the filming! Get the in! Amanda! Hey! I can't breathe! Open the door! Open the door! Hey! Get my foot tag in the goddamn door! Let it go! Robbie! Hey, dude! Hey! 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 Hey!
Even after dusk creeps in and the sun decides to hide away for another day, Edmonston is still not calming down. We wouldn't be surprised if he spent an hour or more screaming his lungs out from the back of the police cruiser. Even with warnings from Trooper Lively, he refuses to quiet down. Oh, 
Bad decisions. They don't just tell me they don't cut my head by the back because that's what they don't expect. 28 turns, nobody 10, 15, one mile, 10, 19, 10. I mean, it's 10, boy, I'll get you, boy. Hear me? Hear me, they don't be in serious, dude, I'm hurt. It's hurt bad. Oh, God. Hey, 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 Though Edmonston was arrested after the discovery of the small baggie containing the unknown white substance, which we still don't know to this day if it was something malicious or not, it seems that all charges were eventually dropped in 2021. While he may have gotten lucky, we think it would be wise to remind you viewers watching that screaming and shouting at the police from the back of one of their cruisers helps no one at all. And same goes for carrying suspicious little plastic bags containing white substances, too. Traffic stops seldom seem to go smoothly on this channel. This one fell apart like a Jenga tower. We'd love to hear what you think about this next clip that went from calm to out of control when a seemingly chilled and chatty driver took a drastic turn. This event took place in Seminole County, Florida. Back on June 29, 2019, a suspect by the name of Rocky Rudolph Jr. was pulled over for the tinted windows on his car. For the deputy, it was a standard traffic stop and one that wouldn't result in anything severe. That is, until a sudden discovery was made. Uh, the front window can be 25%, back window can be 15%, okay? The lower the number, the darker the tent. Your, your front window is measuring at 3%, okay? So, I thought it went by the uh, back window, I thought. Oh, no, no, so, so as you can see, Man. Three. What that means is only 3% of the outside ambient light is getting through your window. Okay, that's why that's why they do that that way. Uh, um, do you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance? Easy. You can put this back down for me. How's it going this morning? What's that? How's it going this morning, bro? Shh, living the dream. I see that. <laughs> living the dream. Like I Nothing? see you on the trail. Look at that. Two five thirteen. Ten thirty eight please. Rocky Money yes, sir. Rudolph <laughs> Jr. Yes, sir. That name is awesome. <laughs> that is probably in fourteen years, that is probably the best name I've seen. <laughs> uh, this this is the application for a certificate of title. Uh yeah. This this is the registration right here. Okay. It's saying it's, uh, I guess, your your birthday's probably on the 5th. Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So so ultimately, it, it's technically expired, yeah. but we don't cite for that. There's case law that says it goes to the end of the month. Yeah. So you need to get that changed. Yeah, I will. Right? Time. I'm doing this new project down here. Um, the homeless community thing they're doing. Okay. I'm building that there. Working down there, building on there and stuff. Okay. So I'll be through the area all the time. All right. Well, yeah, make sure you get that updated. And do you have uh, the so insurance card? Because I did it over the phone. And they, they pulled the fact everything over. Mm -hmm. And they sent it to my baby mama address. And I ain't been dealing with her. I got to probably go by there and get it. Do you, have a, do you have an app or anything? 
You should be able to get it on on an app if you've got the uh, sign into the app. Yeah. I just gotta check and make sure make sure it's good. Yeah, good. I just paid this stuff. Okay. So far, the traffic stop seems to be going well. Rudolph Jr. is cooperative and talkative, and he seems to be getting along well with Deputy Blazer here. The suspect admits to feeling nervous, though the deputy is quick to question him about this. Could it just be nerves, or is he hiding something? Why are you nervous? Oh, I don't know. She's <laughs> Huh? No, you know reason? I think I have had nerves. I ain't got no reason to be nervous, so. What's that? Just some got bad nerves. So. Okay. There's no need to be nervous, man. Yeah, man. Cause I was wondering, you know, I was like, like oh, I did, I did. I thought, Ten. I thought it was the light or something. Looking like, no, you running no. light. Ten. Yeah. It's pet peeve of mine. I was just, oh, okay. I was just trying to see where you were going because it's, it's seriously unsafe to be pulling cars over over there, man. So I don't. Oh, never do it. that's what I was wondering. Like, I try and happened? get, in, I try and follow somebody until <laughs> they get in a safe area. <laughs> oh, okay. For okay. me. Okay. You know, yeah. and then I, and then I attempt to stop. Yeah, we don't need a uh, Facebook. Infinity Auto Insurance. Unless you wanna Facebook Live us and be like, hey, you want to my email? Watch this stuff. I think it come make me. I just paid. It's also gonna be about time for you to get a new license. Yeah, I know I get all that stuff straight now. I've been so busy, man. Right? No, I, 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 I got to take a deal. I feel you. Y'all y'all working today? Ah, no. I, oh, okay. Little, um, well, unfortunately, today being your day off, everything else is closed too. <laughs> Just pay yourself, sir. Oops, sorry. Yeah, very much. Pay there, right? This is the point where Deputy Blaze detects the smell of a controlled substance within the vehicle. Not wanting an otherwise pleasant exchange to get in the way of his duties, he questions Rudolph Jr. about it, which results in things spiraling out of hand when the officer allegedly notices the suspect attempting to start his car up and drive away. Awesome. All right. Mr. Rudolph. Yes, sir. Is there any reason why there would be a hint, faint of, of weed coming out of your vehicle? Do you smoke? Do you have any friends that smoke? Anything like that? No, sir. Just okay. black and mild. Probably just black and mild smoke. Mm -hmm. No, nah, I know the difference between black and mild smoke and this and that. Do you do you have any uh, marijuana in the car? Yes, sir. Okay. So there's no marijuana in the car at all? Okay. And do you have a Florida health card? That allows you to smoke medical marijuana? No, sir. I no? Okay. Yeah. Left the, uh, What's that? I left the Walmart up there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I did too. I had, well, I had to go to the bathroom or something fierce. Oh, that was you I seen back then. I just yeah. rolled through there. You, you see me <laughs> go in there, go to the bathroom, come back oh, out. Okay, I just rolled through and dropped the chick off at work in there. Yeah, okay. okay. I seen the All car right. back then, but I don't you know what that matter. Um, First thing in the morning. All right. Can you, can you do me a favor and just shut the car off for me? What happened, sir? Huh? Well, I smell I smell marijuana, and you don't have a you don't have a card, so I'm not. I, listen, listen, listen. I'm not I'm not concerned with some personal use stuff, man. It doesn't even warrant my time. Marijuana, Would you mind shutting the car off, please? Huh? I'm smoking a black Just, I, I understand. Just shut the car off for me, please. Okay. Two five thirteen. Someone, step him up, please. It's it's no big deal. I mean, I'm bro, not. Like I said, from old hey, hey, hey. To marijuana, listen, bro. listen, on, listen. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Stop. 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 Put it in park. Put it in park. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your freaking hands up. Tell me no, he's just trying to sir. take off with me. Step him up sir, now. Do this to him, please. Sir, I'm please. telling you. Why you doing put like your hands me? up. I'm put your me, hands up. Put your hands up. Oh, I swear to God. Push your hands up. You put it in park. Sir. Sir. 
According to the sheriff, Rudolph held Deputy Blaze to the vehicle while he was attempting to drive away. Consequently, he was dragged roughly 100 yards down the road toward I-4. Eventually, the deputy fell off and rolled into a median before being left in a cloud of dust. Now, Rudolph may have escaped the traffic stop and this frightening encounter, but he was caught approximately eight hours later. He was charged with attempted murder while the deputy was treated for a wound on his leg in the hospital. Regardless of one's views about controlled substances, a bad decision made in the space of a couple of seconds can get a person in serious trouble for years to come.